Pinellas County is a county located in the state of Florida. As of the 2010 census, the population was 916,542. Its county seat is Clearwater, and its largest city is St. Petersburg. Pinellas County is included in the Tampa Street. Petersburg, Clearwater, FL Metropolitan Statistical Area, History, Pre-European Settlement Prior to European Exploration and Settlement The Pinellas Peninsula, like all of Tampa Bay, was inhabited by the Toko Bega Indians, who built a town and large temple mound overlooking the bay in what is now Safety Harbor. The modern site is protected and can be visited as part of the county's Philippe Park. Spanish and British Florida During the early 16th century Spanish explorers discovered and slowly began exploring Florida, including Tampa Bay. In 1528 Panfilo de Narvaez landed in Pinellas, and ten years later Hernando de Soto is thought to have explored the Tampa Bay area. By the early 18th century the Toco Bega had been virtually annihilated, having fallen victim to European diseases from which they had no immunity, as well as European conflicts. Later Spanish explorers named the area Punta Pinal. After trading hands multiple times between the British and the Spanish, Spain finally ceded Florida to the United States in 1821, and in 1823 the U.S. Army established Fort Brook. Settlement of West Hillsborough In 1834 much of west-central Florida, including the Pinellas Peninsula, was organized as Hillsborough County. The very next year Odette Philippe became the first permanent, non-native resident of the peninsula when he established a homestead near the site of the Toko Bega village in Safety Harbor. It was Philippe who first introduced both citrus culture and cigar making to Florida. Around the same time, the United States Army began construction of Fort Harrison, named after William Henry Harrison, as a rest post for soldiers from nearby Fort Brook during the Second Seminole War. The new fort was located on a bluff overlooking Clearwater Harbor, which later became part of an early 20th century residential development called Harbor Oaks. University of South Florida archaeologists excavated the site in 1977 after Alfred C. Wiley discovered an underground ammunition bunker while digging a swimming pool on his estate. Clearwater would later become the first organized community on the peninsula as well as the site of its first post office. The Armed Occupation Act, passed in 1842, encouraged further settlement of Pinellas, like all of Florida, by offering 160 acres to anyone who would bear arms and cultivate the land. Pioneer families like the Booths, the Coachmans, the Marstons, and the McMullins established homesteads in the area in the years following, planting more citrus groves and raising cattle. During the American Civil War, many residents fought for the Confederate States of America. Brothers James and Daniel McMullen were members of the Confederate Cow Cavalry, driving Florida cattle to Georgia and the Carolinas to help sustain the war effort. John W. Marston served in the 9th Florida Regiment as a part of the Appomattox Campaign. Many other residents served in other capacities. Otherwise the peninsula had virtually no significance during the war and the war largely passed the area by. Thappen Springs became West Hillsborough's first incorporated city in 1887, and in 1888 the Orange Belt Railway was extended into the southern portion of the peninsula. Railroad owner Peter Demons named the town that grew near the railroad's terminus street, Petersburg in honor of his hometown. The town would incorporate in 1892. Other major towns in the county incorporated during this time were Clearwater, Dunedin, and Largo. Construction of Fort de Soto, on Mullet Key facing the mouth of Tampa Bay, was begun in 1898 during the Spanish-American War to protect Tampa Bay from potential invading forces. The fort, a sub-post of Fort Dade on adjacent Egmont Key, was equipped with artillery and mortar batteries. Birth of Pinellas County Even into the early years of the 20th century, West Hillsborough had no paved roads. 
and transportation pose a major challenge. A trip to the county seat, across the bay in Tampa, was generally an overnight affair and the automobiles that existed on the peninsula at that time would frequently become bogged down in the muck. After rainstorms, angry at what was perceived as neglect by the county government, residents of Pinellas began a push to secede from Hillsborough. They succeeded, and on January 1, 1912 Pinellas County came into being. The peninsula, along with a small part of the mainland were incorporated into the new county. Land boom in Prohibition aviation history was made in St. Petersburg on January 1, 1914 when Tony Janus made the world's first scheduled commercial airline flight with the St. Petersburg Tampa airboat line from St. Petersburg to Tampa, the popular open-air street, Petersburg concert venue Janus Live memorializes the flight. The early 1920s saw the beginning of a land boom in much of Florida, including Pinellas. During this period municipalities issued a large number of bonds to keep pace with the needed infrastructure, such as roads and bridges. The travel time to Tampa was cut in half, from 43 to 19 miles, by the opening of the Gandhi Bridge in 1924, along the same route Janissar Airline used. It was the longest automobile toll bridge in the world at the time. Prohibition was unpopular in the area and the peninsula's countless inlets and islands became havens for rum runners bringing in liquor from Cuba. Others distilled moonshine in the county's still plentiful woods. Great Depression and World War II like much of Florida. The Great Depression came early to Pinellas with the collapse of the real estate boom in 1926. Local economies became severely stressed, and by 1930, St. Petersburg defaulted on its bonds. Only after World War II would significant growth return to the area. During the war, the area's tourist industry collapsed, but thousands of recruits came to the area when the U.S. military decided to use the area for training. Area hotels became barracks. The Renaissance Vinoy Hotel was used as an army training school. The area's women and girls participated in the war effort as well. Hundreds of girls from the area's most prominent families formed a group called the Bombardiers, holding dances, socializing with recruits, and selling war bonds. After the war many of these same soldiers remembered their wartime experience in Pinellas well, and returned as tourists or residents. Recent history with the end of the Second World War, Pinellas would enter another period of rapid growth and development. In 1954 the original span of the Sunshine Skyway Bridge was opened, replacing earlier ferry service. By 1957 Clearwater was America's fastest growing city. The Tampa Bay Regional Planning Council was founded by the late mayor of St. Petersburg, Herman Goldner, who sought without success during the 1960s to consolidate various municipalities and unincorporated areas in South Pinellas County. Each year the council presents its Herman Goldner Award for Regional Leadership. Tragedy struck on May 9, 1980, when the southbound span of the original Sunshine Skyway Bridge was struck by the freighter MV Summit Venture during a storm, sending over 1,200 feet of the bridge plummeting into Tampa Bay. The collision caused 10 cars and a Greyhound bus to fall 150 feet into the water, killing 35 people. The new bridge opened in 1987 and has since been listed as number three of the top 10 bridges in the world by the Travel Channel. The county operates a 21-acre living history museum called Heritage Village containing more than 28 historic structures some dating back to the 19th century, where visitors can experience what life was once like in Pinellas. Pinellas County celebrated 100 years of existence on January 1, 2012. Geography According to the U.S. Census Bureau, the county has a total area of 608 square miles, of which 274 square miles is land and 334 square miles is water. It is the second smallest county in Florida by land area, larger than only Union County. 
Pinellas forms a peninsula bounded on the west by the Gulf of Mexico and on the south and east by Tampa Bay. It is 38 miles long and 15 miles wide at its broadest point, with 587 miles of coastline. Physical geography elevation in the county ranges from mean sea level to its highest natural point of 110 feet near the intersection of State Route 580 and Countryside Boulevard, in Clearwater. Due to its small size and high population, by the early 21st century Pinellas County has been mostly built out, with very little developable land left available. The county has maintained a fairly large system of parks and preserves that provide residents and visitors retreat from the city and a glimpse of the peninsula's original state. Geologically, Pinellas is underlain by a series of limestone formations, the Hawthorne limestone and the Tampa limestone. The limestone is porous and stores a large quantity of water. Petersburg, the 35 miles of beaches and dunes which make up the county's 11 barrier islands provide habitat for coastal species serve as critical storm protection for the inland communities, and form the basis of the area's thriving tourism industry. The islands are dynamic, with wave action building some islands further up, eroding others, and forming entirely new islands over time. Though hurricanes are infrequent on this part of Florida's coast, they have had a major impact on the islands. With the hurricane of 1848 forming John's Pass between Madeira Beach and Treasure Island, a hurricane in 1921 creating Hurricane Pass and cleaving Hog Island into Honeymoon and Caladesi Islands, and 1985's Hurricane Elena sealing Dunedin Pass to join Caladesi with Clearwater Beach. Between the Barrier Islands and the peninsula are several bodies of water, through which traverses a section of the Gulf Intracoastal Waterway. From north to south there, St. Joseph Sound between the islands and Dunedin, Clearwater Harbour between Clearwater and Clearwater Beach, and Bocas Eager Bay in the southern third of the county. Connecting Clearwater Harbour to Bocasiga Bay is a thin, approximately 3.5 mile stretch of water known as the Narrows, which runs next to the town of Indian Shores. Extending from northeastern Bocasiga Bay, Long Bayou separates Seminole from St. Petersburg near Bay Pines. Long Bayou once extended significantly farther up the peninsula until the northern portion was sealed off to create Lake Seminole. Extending further still from Long Bayou, the Cross Bayou Canal traverses the peninsula, crossing Pinellas Park in a northeasterly direction before emptying into Tampa Bay on the northwest side of St. Petersburg Clearwater International Airport. Barrier Islands and Passes Ancloak Key offshore of Tarpon Springs and the northernmost point in the county. Howard Park, a man-made pocket beach created in the 1960s. Three Rooker Bar, the most geologically recent of Pinellas are Barrier Islands. Honeymoon Island, Hurricane Pass, Caladesi Island, Dunedin Pass shoaled and closed in the 1980s, linking Caladesi Island and Clearwater Beach. Clearwater Beach, Clearwater Pass, Sand Key the longest of Pinellas are Barrier Islands, Johns Pass, Treasure Island, Blind Pass, Long Key, Pass Grill Channel, Shell Key, Tierra Verde on the bay side of Shell Key, links the mainland to FD, De Soto, created by a dredge and fill project that merged several smaller keys, including Cabbage and Pine Keys, Bunces Pass, Mullet Key home to F.D. De Soto and the southernmost point in the county, National Protected Area Pinellas National Wildlife Refuge, State Protected Areas Honeymoon Island State Park, Caladesi Island State Park, Anclo Key Preserve State Park, County Parks and Preserves Pinellas County Parks Gallery, Anderson Park Panorama, Brooker Creek Nature Preserve Walkway, 
view of Lake Tarpon from John Chestnut Park, Wall Springs view of St. Joseph Sound from the old observation tower, other protected areas, Boyd Hill Nature Preserve, a 245-acre park on the shores of Lake Maggiore in South Street, Petersburg, operated by the city and featuring a nature center, bird of prey aviary, and over three miles of trails through a variety of ecosystems. Adjacent counties Pasco County, Florida, North, Hillsborough County, Florida, East and South. Hillsborough County extends along the shipping channel into the Gulf of Mexico and actually separates Pinellas County from Manatee County. Ecosystems Plant life Several natural communities exist within the county, including areas of freshwater wetlands, coastal mangrove swamps. Sporadic hardwood hammocks, low-lying, poorly drained pine flatwoods, and well-drained upland sandhills and sand pine scrub. Offshore ecosystems include the Tampa Bay estuary and numerous Gulf sea grass beds. The county also maintains several artificial reefs. Animal life Numerous bird species can be sighted in Pinellas either as permanent residents or during the winter migration, including wading birds like great blue herons, egrets, white ibises and roseate spoonbills, aquatic birds like brown pelicans, white pelicans, and cormorants, numerous species of shorebirds, and very common birds like seagulls and passerines like the blue jay, mockingbird, and crow. Ospreys are a commonly seen bird of prey, with other birds of prey like turkey vultures, red-tailed hawks, great horned owls, screech owls, barn owls, and bald eagles, among others, seen as well. Gopher tortoises are found in many areas, the burrows they dig making them a keystone species. Coyotes, though often associated with the American West, are native to and can be found in Pinellas. White-tailed deer, wild turkeys, bobcats, otters, and alligators can be found in the county as well. Sea turtles nest on the shores or Pinellas are barrier islands and have been threatened by development. Offshore, dolphins, sharks, and manatees are numerous as well, while closer inshore stingrays are a common sight leading those in the know to do the stingray shuffle when entering gulf waters. Species of fish commonly caught in the waters surrounding the county include spotted sea trout, red drum or redfish, snook, pompano, sheep's head, Spanish mackerel, grouper, mullet, flounder, kingfish, and tarpon. Invasive species like much of Florida, Pinellas County is home to several invasive species that propagate easily outside their native range. Examples of commonly seen invasives include Brazilian pepper, water hyacinth, Australian pine, melaleuca, and air potato. These species are considered serious pests, and varying methods have been tried to eradicate them. Examples of invasive animals include the wild boar, which poses significant health and agricultural problems in Florida and can sometimes be found in Pinellas, and the monk parakeet, small flocks of which can sometimes be seen in flight or building nests on electrical poles or telecommunications towers. Pinellas gained some national attention as the home of the mystery monkey of Tampa Bay, a non-native, feral rhesus macaque that had been on the loose for approximately three years in the south of the county. No one was sure where the monkey came from, and a Facebook page set up for the monkey had over 84,000 likes. The monkey was the subject of a sketch on the March 11, 2010 episode of The Colbert Report. As of February 2012, the monkey had apparently taken up semi-permanent residence behind a family's home at an undisclosed location in St. Petersburg, according to the Tampa Bay Times. Efforts to capture the monkey were reignited after it reportedly bit a woman living near where it had taken up residence and the monkey was captured in late October 2012 and eventually was sent to live at Dade City's Wild Things, a 22-acre zoo north of Tampa. Climate Pinellas, like the rest of the Tampa Bay area, has a humid subtropical climate, resulting in warm, humid summers with frequent thunderstorms and drier winters. 
Pinellas County's geographic position lying on a peninsula between Tampa Bay and the Gulf of Mexico introduces large amounts of humidity into the atmosphere and serves to moderate temperatures. The geography of the peninsula also causes some variance in the county's average temperatures. St. Petersburg, further south on the peninsula, tends to have warmer daily average lows than areas such as Dunedin and Palm Harbor further north though daily highs are very close. The north of the county also has fewer overall days of rain, but higher total annual precipitation when measured in inches. The county's south being prone to shorter, more frequent thunderstorms especially in the late summer. Freezing temperatures occur only every two to three years, with freezing precipitation occurring extremely rarely. Springs are usually short, mild, and dry, with occasional late-season cold fronts. Summertime weather is very consistent, with highs in the low 90s degree F, lows in the mid 70s degree F, accompanied by high humidity and an almost daily chance of afternoon thunder showers. The area experiences significant rainfall during its summer months with nearly two-thirds of annual precipitation falling between the months of June and September. The area is occasionally affected by tropical storms and hurricanes, but has not suffered a direct hit since 1921. Fall, like spring, is usually mild and dry, with the hurricane season extending through November and sometimes affecting the area. Many portions of St. Petersburg, especially along the bay and in South Street, Petersburg, have tropical microclimates. Tropical trees such as royal palms and coconut palms and fruit trees like mangoes will grow in these microclimates.